Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Walt Tutorials. I'm Koichi GZ, and in this video we are again going to do a battle against Grizzard. So right over here. So uh, this time uh, you're going to see that I have changed my party down around a little bit. So you're going to see that uh, I have actually replaced my armamentalist with a paladin. So this is going to be a healing paladin. Um, so it's going to have on the Holy Wind crown, uh, the Holy Wind uh, upper garment, and then also the uh, Saint's uh, garment uh, leggings. So um, this should work out well in terms of healing. Uh, I actually tried this out with a uh, different armor with pretty much uh, armor armor on not necessarily for healing uh, Things didn't necessarily go the way I like in terms of how much I wanted to heal So that's why I actually changed uh, the actual uh, gear for this then for souls I'm going to have on Mildress. I'm going to have on Shido I'm going to have on the moving ice sculpture and I'm going to have Bobonga so three of these gives me pluses to uh, healing and then uh, Mildress, I'm pretty much just using for that extra uh, HP boost. So plus 192 and then also an increase to durability plus 138. So that's actually going to be really good. So uh, everything else with this team is going to be pretty much the same. I don't really need to go into it, but I would like to actually first heal up. So actually, you know what? I'm just going to use a Sudamichi heal. And then uh, pretty much just go into this battle. So I will be slightly changing my strategy a bit since I have a paladin. But uh, with that said, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So most likely first is going to be my ranger. Uh, what I'm going to do with my ranger is attack first. Uh, just so possibly I could actually get a shadow mine. So hopefully I do. So let's see what happens here. No shadow binds there. But here we go with my battle master. So going to use protective shield. And here we are with my sage. So with my sage, what I'm going to do is use try to use Lukani. Lukani does work. Um, sometimes it gets goes in. Sometimes it does not. But here with my Paladin, since I'm actually pretty much free, uh, I'm going to actually use, um, hmm. I'm actually going to use Protective Shield. And let's see what happens here. Okay, so, uh, resistance to magic was lowered for my Sage. There goes my Hano. And then since my Paladin is equipped with uh, the Master Dragon Spear, it actually reflected that back. So again, I'm going to actually try with uh, Shadowbind, which did not work. So with here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use Stemmy. And then here with my Paladin, I'm going to heal up. So that actually did pretty good healing there. I'm going to heal up again here with the Sage. So yes, yeah, so that actually does uh, really good healing. Okay, so good. No one got knocked down here. Again, going to try to use a Shadow Bomb. Nothing there. Now here, I will be able to use uh, Battle Demon Release. Okay, 12,000. That's not so bad. Going to heal up with my Sage. And heal up with my Paladin as well. So this is going to be Mahado twice. So with this next turn, what I want to do, um, definitely, um, he's going to go under 50% health. So I'm actually going to defend and heal up. So I should be able to survive with all my characters. Let's see here. Okay. 
Okay. And then also with my Paladin. Okay, so now under 50% health. So going to use Tail Whip. Good. And no one got uh, knocked down. Okay. So here, hopefully I can get a Shadow Bind. Nothing there. But to going in with my Battle Master. And ooh, 26,000 damage. So that actually was really good. So heal up there. And then also going to be healing up with my Paladin. So I'm in a pretty good position, I would say. Again with Tail Whip. Again, no one got knocked down. My Shadow. Again, hopefully get a Shadow Bind. Oh, yes. I got a Shadow Bind here, so that gives me uh, plenty of time to actually properly heal up. So here, not that much damage. Now I'll be at least probably around 6,000. Okay. Let's see what happens here. So um, I'm actually pretty good in terms of uh, HP with all my characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Dukani. And I actually got it there. So now um, this is actually going to be a pretty good position in terms of using my Battle Master. So here again, no one got knocked down. And then, ah, uh, nice, uh, Paladin Guards for my Paladin. Okay. And here, healing up. So let's see, this next turn is, okay, double heal. Uh, dub double heal, but, um... So here, the next turn is going to be um, Kokutos. So what I'm going to try to do is try to attack. And then here, Battle Demon release. So hopefully, um, I might be able to take him down with this attack. Quite possibly. Okay, no. But here, going to heal up. Okay. Ooh, okay, so this actually might be not good. Ooh, actually, wow. Alright, so yes, so that's pretty much it. So, um... Yep, so I got him. I got him, I got him. And I get a Cecil. Okay. Okay, so you saw my strategy here with the Dormitine, but with a Paladin instead. So you saw that the battle actually went quite differently. So I was actually able to uh, go through the battle pretty much with no problems. I had no uh, deaths with any of the characters, and uh, I didn't have to use any healing items whatsoever. So everything worked out quite well. So um, this actual strategy is probably going to be the best to go through uh, against uh, Grizzard. So um, yeah, I will be making another video probably using a Jabadia based team. So hopefully that will be coming soon. And I will be making other videos uh, showcasing other types of teams probably with uh, Grizzard. So please stay tuned for that. So with that said, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.